welcome back to your number one family gardening channel where they garden with you until they're about 12 then they tell you I guess get a life but keep the food coming uh, so if you haven't uh, watched the video of ours before then thank you for watching today um, hope that you would consider subscribing and if you've been watching our video for the last three years then big ups to you thank you for your support uh, that's what keeps us coming with the videos is because you watch basically uh, so today we have an avocado tree that we've actually grown from seeds so big ups to us on that we had three we've lost two we've kept this one and we actually got another one in the high tunnel uh, trying to see how it how it makes it through the winter um, but this one has been in here for about two years so uh, they grow they grow fairly fast when they get up to this level then they start slowing down a little bit but uh, that may be on us and maybe on the pot um, but it's starting to throw off uh, new growth already and today is January 16th I believe it is uh, January 15th yeah January 15th I believe it is and we're gonna up pot this avocado I don't know anything about avocados so this is not really like a informational video what we did to get it to grow from seed we didn't do uh, the water thing the toothpick thing we just basically planted it so basically when when your spring comes buy you some avocados plant them uh, and and when they sprout up leave them there and wait until right before your first frost and dig them up and that's when you start the potting process that's what we did uh, so with this one here we go we're going from I guess it's like about a three gallon pot or something to to more of a a nice container tree size and this should give us at least about another I would say three years three four years in this container uh, so we got some soil mix and all our soil mix is going to be just some cheap topsoil and composted manure and we use that to start our medium but then we got that expensive uh, perlite vermiculite couldn't find that nowhere on sale so that's the one thing we actually bought full price uh, and I bought some lime as well kind of mixed all that together a little bit of fertilizer I'll add probably a little bit later on in the spring uh, but I'm just gonna get the potting since it started putting on these new leaves I just decided hey I got so much to do that I can't wait till the optimal time to do everything uh, having so much to do so I gotta do the best I can maybe I should put let me put one rock in the bottom of this get over here So I gotta plant and watch them. Family gardening. <laughs> Kids are in school. This is my time to kind of get some of this stuff done. So I like to come out here and talk to y'all, get some stuff done. Right now I'm just gonna, I did have my shovel. Dad! Hmm? In there? Yeah. Yes, in there. This is good enough. Ariana has made two years old, uh, January the 4th. So that should tell you where we're at with her. She's like, I guess two makes 13, and then when they hit three, they go back to, they stay three. Uh, but for right now, she's kind of want to try a little bit more than ever before and y'all probably haven't seen Zion in probably almost a year he's been gone uh, so they just came back actually December 31st so for New Year's they finally came back home and doing quite well we must add uh, so so here's what I got I'm starting off just putting in the soil in the pot 
and now I'm gonna start kind of uh, putting it over here gauging that's good enough for me that's probably where I want it I don't want it up too high uh, past past the lip as far as the soil level I don't want it up too high so this may be perfect for me now I've never taken this out of the pot before since it's been in there so really don't even know what's in the bottom of this thing so let me try to be careful Watch out the way. Really wanna uh, keep it stable. And this isn't potting soil, which makes it difficult. I might have to get Beverly out here. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's coming out. Coming out slow. All right. Let me set that in like that. I like to keep that intact. Now, don't take it, Z. I really don't like the fact of where where it is. It was in the pot. It it was on the corner of the pot. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna try to get it more to the center of this pot by moving it over and you can see that I, I move this over where I'm potting it and that way I'm going to fill in more here and that's going to kind of centralize it a little bit not as much but better than what it was in that pot then we're going to just go around it and do that now do that don't get you some here, pour it in here all right, so as I as I go ahead on and, and just fill it in, fill around it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dump it off. Get some more. Get some more. It it takes longer gardening with with your children, but I was putting them to to take a nap, and I was like, well, I'm about to do this potting. I really don't want them to just be inside. Uh, I want them to come out and kind of just look at what I'm doing and kind of watch me They don't have to know what I'm doing But but somehow, you know some of those memories those childhood memories kind of Kind of stay with you and kind of last So maybe this will be one That they can remember there you go. Good job mm -hmm. yeah. Now what I did before before I even um decided to transplant this was I took I took a bucket and something new that I've been working with is called a super thrive I just put a little super thrive in the water uh, filled it up with water and I let it sit here for probably about 40 minutes just to get some of those vitamins and then I decided to do the transplant I've heard that that helps a little bit uh, so I wanted to give it a try since I found some on clearance Here we go. Finishing up. Got it up to the top where we want it. Good job, everybody. Good. That's enough. That's enough. Still leaving that top of that root exposed just how it was when it was planted. I'm going to go ahead on and just pour the rest of that Super Thrive back down in there. And we'll actually get us some water and this thing has found a new home for now. Uh, probably we we'll end up packing some of this, kind of getting it just how I want it. Ah, get it standing up more, a little straighter. Straighter. Yep, straighter. All right. Oh. Go ahead and pack around that side again. So, 
So that's it. That's about a half a half an hour in the garden. I'm gonna turn it straight for you so you can see how it looks. And I'm not leaving this out. This has actually been outside all winter long, but it's been under the carport. I didn't want to keep dragging it inside and out. I wanted to see can it make it. Uh, so this will be one of those trees that I'm going to keep under the carport um, right where I can get a little bit of sun, but not much. And I, I think it's liking it right there and like that. I'm um, looking like I need to look like it's splitting on me. So might need to do a little wrap. Or spray something in there. It looks like a little scale or something getting inside of it. Uh, but for the most part, it's still alive, still holding on. Hopefully that heals over to what I'm looking at. Uh, but thank y'all for watching, and come back and see us next time. And as always, as always, grow, grow, grow. Peace. All right. Grow, grow, grow. Peace. Peace.